The Alabama Farmers Federation and the Alabama Farmers Cooperative proudly present Simply Southern with Jim Allen and Mary Wilson. Hello and thanks for joining us for Simply Southern. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Jim Allen. What's better than a big old plate of fried catfish? High school students around the state are participating in a contest to find out if there's an answer to that question. It's good to find healthy ways to settle arguments. Back before Alabama was even recognized as a U.S. territory, the Native American Choctaw and Creek tribes used stickball to settle a land dispute in West Alabama. Traditionally, a lot of people actually call this sport the, the little brother of war. Uh, I've, I've heard it called that several times, and you know the reason for that is because we can settle disputes by playing ball and not going to war. In our gardening segment, Sydney Phelps will tell you what's so special about a Bonnie plant. And if you love a fast car, you'll want to stick around. We'll visit an amazing collection of horsepower when Simply Southern returns. What sustains us? Food, family, faith. Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources, clothe our families, and fill our tables. They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. There's no such thing as downtime when you own a farm. This is your land. You tend it and try to get the most from it, no matter the weather or time of day. It's been that way for generations. And for generations, your local quality co-op store has been there for you, with a full range of agriculture supplies and services, from feed to fertilizer, seed to grain storage, and the right hardware for any application. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. When the folks at Ford Motor Company cobbled up a new concept car off the bones of their humble falcon, they couldn't have predicted the legacy they would create. Nicknamed the Pony Car, the Mustang has inspired hit songs, dazzled the silver screen, and created a loyal fan base no four-wheel rival can touch. Bob Powell fell victim to pony fever long ago, and if you visit his museum in Odenville, you'll likely find that it's contagious. There are many features Americans look for in a car, but one is pretty consistent. Power. The problem is the police like it too. License and registration. The list of folks who have lost their heart to the Ford Mustang is a long one. And when the bug bit Bob Powell, it left a big mark. I worked at a service station standard station at the time back uh, in those days in the mid 60s and I remember uh, uh, a guy named Butch Ware bought a 65 white Mustang coupe brought it in the service station to get gas and we all flocked around it. Bob's love of this storied speedster inspired him to open America's largest museum dedicated to the Mustang in his hometown of Odenville. The 30,000 square foot Mustang Museum of America is a pony lover's paradise. Our concept was to have the uh, all generations, all years eventually. So we start off just having by order, starting with a 64 and a half when you come in, all the way up through the 73s. So it's made to just walk up and down the rows and follow the generations of each year. More than a hundred cars make up Bob's collection, offering visitors a look at how the Mustang has changed over the years. Bob, this thing looks like it could fly. How did it end up with the name California Special? Different Ford dealers would request Ford to make them a special model for their market. So the California dealers in 68 asked Ford to make them a model called California Special. So they basically took a, a base Mustang coupe and uh, added some Shelby features to it. This car here was originally a lime green color. So we went back to, this is actually a 70 Boss 302 Grabber blue color. 
The Mustang's popularity also made it a favorite for everything from primetime TV action to pace cars and even some military duties. This is an 88 uh, Mustang. Again, it's an SSP package, that special service package Ford came out with. Uh, Air Force bought them to be what they call a U-2 chase car. Uh, when the spy plane's coming into land, he accelerates up to high speed, 110, 120 or plus, to catch up to the plane and be in radio communication with the pilot uh, to make sure that uh, they keep the wings smooth and straight do not touch the runway. A star attraction at the museum is its collection of police Mustangs. 26 states used Mustangs for police cars between 82 and 93, and we have 25 of them. You're not gonna see another collection of these police cars anywhere. We get a lot, a lot of compliments on those that people really appreciate and didn't know that there were that many out there used by different states. For guys and gals from my generation, a room full of Mustangs is definitely worth an hour, or five. But Bob has been surprised how eager younger visitors are to trade up to a bigger brand of toy. It probably happens every day we're open. Someone will come in with a, a child from, gosh, maybe seven or eight years old up to 14 or 15, obviously not driving yet, and they're saying, Mustang's my car, I just love them. It's definitely a dream come true. It's uh, something we're proud of and we're, we're pleased when people come and visit and, uh, and give good compliments. Now Jim, I do believe that impersonating a police officer could be a crime. Well, Mary, I don't think there's enough TV magic out there to convince people that I'm a lawman. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> but those were some cool cars. They really were. And being a Kentucky girl, I especially liked that blue California special. I just think we need to work on the name of it, though. Well, I'm telling you, it's well worth the trip. Be sure to head over to Mustang Museum of America for information to help you plan your visit. Coming up next, we head to Clark County, along with fourth graders from the area, to learn how the Creek and Choctaw Indians settled a land dispute with a game of stickball. Wear long pants, long sleeve shirts, and closed toed shoes. Don't be ticked. Use repellents with 20% DEET on skin and 0.5% permethrin on gear and clothing. Don't be ticked. Avoid sitting on rotten logs or stumps. Don't be ticked. Protect yourself from serious tick-borne illnesses and seek timely treatment to prevent long-term problems. No hunters were angered in the making of this film. Get discounts on national brands and at local businesses with your Alpha Farmers membership. Members save hundreds with Ford, John Deere, Case IH, and Caterpillar. Plus, enjoy special rates at Choice and Wyndham Hotels. Benefits include rewards at Office Depot, Priester's Pecans, tourism destinations, and more. Download the Alpha Perks app, visit alphafarmers.org slash perks, or stop by your local Alpha office and start saving today. Support healthy food from local farmers by purchasing a Farming Feeds Alabama license plate. The tag funds education and promotion efforts, including Ag in the Classroom, agricultural scholarships, and youth programs. Get your Ag tag today. Soybean is a very versatile product. We make crayons out of it. A lot of the combines you see rolling through the fields have a lot of plastic side panels that are made from a soy product. The soybeans that we grow on our farm mostly goes into chicken feed. Soybean production in Alabama employs over 10,000 people. We grow some of the best soybeans in the world. We go the extra mile to make sure when our name is stamped on it, we know it's the best product we can produce. Some of the best things in life start with a bundle. And some of them can actually save you money. Like when you bundle your auto and life insurance with Alpha. Protect what's important to you at a price you can afford. All for a better life. Alpha Insurance. All for a better life. Ask your local agent about Alpha's auto life discount. <laughs> 